Hello everyone, thanks for joining the session. So as all of you know, this is conducted by Figureka on top of blockchain and its applications. So as part of this agenda, we'll be discussing about blockchain. What are the different applications of blockchain? What is the technology stack we have on blockchain? And we'll also take an example of how do we uh, use or what are the different cases that we, we use a hands on on this part. Okay, so now let's talk about this blockchain. So let's try to talk about what is a blockchain. So blockchain is a technology which is introduced basically by the technology called Bitcoin. So where people will end up with creating the a number of blocks and it will be chained, which means every block, each and every block will be attached to each and every block which is next to it. So unless otherwise you cannot, if, you, if your first block is starting and your, your block will continue to grow and you know that what is the start of it, what is the end of it, which means every block will contain the information of start of the block and end of the block. So which means in that case, if you are supposed to know what is the entire blockchain, you are supposed to hack the entire blockchain system and which is practically not possible by anybody. So that's where that's what we typically call it as a blockchain technology. And it's a concept which can be implemented in by any language, which means it's not a language barrier or anything. You can use any technology or any programming language to implement it. And it is something which is mostly preferred to implement some programming that can help you to create a blockchain. Okay. So in any blockchain, so you'll end up with having all the transactions logged, including the information based on the date and time and everything. So that each and every transaction can be visible and you'll be able to verify whenever you want it to. And there'll be something called end note work, end note network won't a full copy of the blockchain, which means you'll end up with having each node will contain the network of a full copy of the blockchain. So that uh, even if someone tried to hack it, and you, because of the reason that it has to hold the entire full blockchain details and you won't be able to fix that. So now there are different types of technologies within the blockchain itself. You are supposed to have different types of processes which are enabled, which means your transactions will be verified by the miners, which means whoever is actually going to mine your or uh, start mining your transactions uh, which are present and it will be verified by each and every miner so that once each and every miner confirms that okay this is the right block that we're trying to add that we're trying to achieve and that's when it will be verified and if at all there is any attempt to which someone is trying to make a corruption or anything obviously you may not be able to go and get all the information for all the blocks and obviously it will start trading so that nobody will be able to add or either uh, break anything as part of the chain because any transaction can be enabled only by verifying all the transactions as part of the chain right so uh, now, uh, what are the different applications which are implemented using these blockchains? And there are a lot of applications, especially the API, there are different different APIs, especially to take a look at uh, how the how the transactions are being happening, or how these organizations are making a lot of transactions to make sure that nobody will hack it unnecessarily or nobody will will block them unnecessarily. And you will end up with using all these applications and be using these APIs. And uh, if, if if at all there is a a decentralized application, especially this is a decentralized application. The major advantage is so it's not something that somebody can go and uh, block it or hack it because it's not something that a, a particular private person or either an organization will own, own it. And it is something which will be owned by the entire network of the people so that uh, it is not something that is possible for anyone to shut it down or go to go and start controlling it. Unless otherwise, if everybody started not to use it. So that's what we typically call as decentralization. So that's where there is no regularizations, regulations that people can consider. So it's on the technology stack wise, and you'll end up with having a different technologies, and you'll have a different different technologies like JavaScript or any kind of technology that you can use, which can integrate with your blockchain technology and with your Web3 applications, and that's what you'll use. And anatomy of this, so where you'll end up with having marketing agreement, and there is no need of a broker or any lawyer, so you can just consider considering that you have a block which is associated with you, you can continue to use it. And there is no documentation, everything which is required. You can continue to own it because you have that uh, block which is available, which is actually part of your blockchain, and you can continue to own it. And you can continue to take your backup, and you can also continue to have a duplicates also. But the only thing is that once you, you cannot create a new one as part of it. And the accuracy is going to be 100% accurate, and it cannot be avoided. It's something because of any work. So, and you'll also have a concept called block verify. So what is the verify means? Identify counterfeits or either no duplicates or company verify or global solutions. So there are different types of verifications which are available and which are differently used by different different technologies which can help you to build different different um, type of applications. So counterfeit goods or diversified products or the stolen uh, merchandise or the fraudulent, fraudulent transactions can be can, can continue to be verified as part of the blockchain so that these kind of activities can be controlled very well all that. And of course, as I said, there are different type of applications which are built using this. And one of the examples is Ripple, which is one of the coin which is created, uh, one of the digital currency, I mean. So the Ripple network is something which is instrumental payment for the providers, such as bankers or money services, which have been given. 
uh, it is unreliable so uh, which means that okay whatever the people who want to use it and if they can it as one of the, the blockchain one of the one of the digital currency which is created it's inexpensive it's very expensive and it's also slow because of the reason that it is slow in terms of processing and anything and it, it may not be that easy for people to uh, hack because you may have to verify all the transactions and that's where you'll have access to transactions which are being promised by the network will be ripple network uh, will be and you'll end up with having the access faster access to it and then you'll be able to access you'll be able to make transactions very faster and it is also higher level and lower cost and it will it will take all the disadvantages of available of on top of it and it is going to you know with having the transactions over ripple network which promises that okay you can achieve all these accesses and faster process and the lower cost access to it. so likewise there are a different type of applications like scotch and you can also continue to use uh, different different ways of dealing with them right you'll have other advantages of having the uh, transactions can be cheaper and it's can also be made in private and you have a, a faster pace which means you can the transactions can be verified very faster and you can primarily use them for as part of your encryption and in case if you want to shred any information which can which nobody can recollect it once you shred it and you can continue to use them and you'll also have audits which means that you can continue to have continuous auditing to make sure that the things are working fine and it's also highly distributed which means when, when you say distributed means that obviously you can continue to scale it up to an extent so likewise we have a few other concepts like other or other things which you can continue to use it and they have their own advantages like uh, weather prediction which typically can be used or political forecasting and even heading or company forecasting so likewise these kind of applications can be used uh, these are the examples of few of the applications that are being used okay so what are the things that you'll end up with learning when you're going through a direct webinar page what are the things that you'll end up with learning so you'll have start with origin of working with a blockchain and you'll learn you will learn about cryptocurrency and blockchain applications and you have a hands on in each and every part as you can see and then you'll understand about what is the bitcoin platform how exactly the bitcoin platform is built and you'll also start looking at what is the bitcoin mining how do we start with bitcoin mining and all that thing what are, you'll understand the basics of it and then you the very famous and very most widely used you know, blockchain concept uh, of this currency ethereum and you'll continue to learn about ethereum and how the basics are basically Will be implemented in the theory, and what are the advantages of it? How to implement it using hands on experience, and what are the advantages of it? Okay, so and then you will continue to using Tuffle, and uh, this is one of the hands on that you are going to do that can help us to implement one of the hands on use cases. And as part of it, you will end up with hyperledger concepts. As part of it, the overall session, you will end up with learning all these concepts along with the hands, along with the hands on sessions. And this is the entire course part. This is the entire roadway roadmap that you are going to learn as part of your sessions. Okay. So uh, once you continue, continue with that, and that's where you'll be, you'll, you'll continue to become master, and that's what you do. Okay. So that's the overall process, and you'll also have mul multiple examples of um, Atlas, uh, which will have zero service charge, decentralized for or restrictions or anything, and that's what you'll end up with. Well. Okay. So that's what uh, you'll have. So these are the different different activities that you'll end up with learning as part of your usual um, uh, learning part. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Now the next is for your blockchain learning.